GeoDirectory is my favorite plugin for a local business listing directory, but the free version only allows you to use one location. This is fine if you're working with something very focused in one area, but it can be a little restrictive if you want to expand to maybe around the state, around the country, or even around the world. If you do want to grow your directory to have listings in multiple locations, you will need to pay for the location manager add-on. For me, this is an easy purchase because when you can allow more locations, you have much more ability to monetize your directory. So it should be a really easy return on investment. You don't have to pre-add all the locations you want. Whenever somebody adds a listing, the location automatically gets listed as well. And you can also restrict to only certain locations. And it's SEO friendly. So let me show you how to install and set up that add-on. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install the location manager add-on. So hover over GeoDirectory and then click extensions. And I have a membership for GeoDirectory, so when I hit install, it's just gonna go ahead and install. If you do not have a membership, it's probably going to prompt you to pay for it because this is a premium add-on. The main GeoDirectory is free, but you do have to pay to add on a lot of things um, that make it so your directory can make money, which is fine because they deserve to make money too. So when that's done, I'm gonna hit the activate button. So after your plugin is activated, it's going to uh, bring you back to the plugins page. And now most of the really exciting part about this add-on is done, and that is that you have the ability to add more than one location, which is great if you wanna do a countrywide or a worldwide local directory. But you do have some other fun stuff, including some widgets. So I'm gonna show you those. So go to appearance and widgets. So from here, I'm gonna click this add block button and then click browse all. And here we have all your widgets. And for me, GeoDirectory comes up right away. And if I scroll down, I'm going to see some that say uh, GD location. So uh, one of the first most useful new widgets you have is this GD location switcher. And if you put this um, in one of your widget areas, you now have it so your users can search for a specific location in your listing directory. You also have this widget called GD locations that will give a list of all the locations in your directory. I haven't set mine up, so we just have one for now. Um, and you also have this GD near me button that uh, when your users click that, it will show what is near them. And you also have this GD location description, which will show the description of the location that's page it's on. So in addition to those widgets, you also have some cool admin stuff now. So if you go to GeoDirectory, Settings, and Locations, you can now have a list of multiple locations, multiple cities, and you can view easily how many listings are in each city. Just like other parts of WordPress, you can search locations here to find the location you're looking for. And you can also select multiple cities and you can merge them together if that's something that you need to do. And that's it, we're all done. Now you have the power to take your geo directory worldwide with the Location Manager plugin. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, I have a freebie for you. It's a nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It will tell you everything you need to know to get your website built and launched without missing any steps. Thank you so much for watching.